Well, away from politics and on to some developments of the medical breakthrough that is being hailed as a game changer in the fight against malaria. Now, we can report that discussions surrounding the procurement of the celebrated malaria vaccine are underway. This comes as the World Health Organization gave the go-ahead for the rollout of the malaria vaccine amongst children in sub-Saharan Africa and in other regions with moderate to high malaria transmission. The recommendation is based on results from an ongoing pilot program in Ghana, Kenya and Malawi that has reached more than 800,000 children since 2019. And as Raquel Moigai reports, it is the first ever anti-parasitic vaccine made for the human population. For three years, scientists have been testing a vaccine against a tiny but very lethal insect, the mosquito. <laughs> Its size quite ironical with the magnitude of the disaster it causes. 260,000 malaria deaths annually among children below the age of five in sub-Saharan Africa. The World Health Organization could have given the go-ahead to the historic mark in the fight against malaria, but it is just the beginning of that fight. Now that the WHO has made this announcement, they, they should be triggering off the partnerships that will ensure that we can procure the vaccine and also make it available to the countries that need it. His Excellency the President is also the chair of the African Malaria Leadership Alliance, which means he has to see this happen. Here in Kenya, the pilot program saw at least 250,000 children vaccinated in the Lake Region Basin, counties of Kisumu and Siaya being in focus, given their malaria burden. Despite the vaccine efficacy level being placed at 30 percent, Dr. Bernard Zogutu, the senior clinical research scientist, indicates that the impact in reducing severe disease and deaths is greater. The results that came up this year from trying to use the malaria vaccine in conjunction with the drugs in the Sahelian region showed quite a big impact in preventing malaria infection during the rainy season in those areas, which has been a big problem. And with that result, some of the counties in Kenya, we can actually possibly start thinking of using that integrated method in the northeastern part of Kenya, which is dry and we have seasonal malaria transmission. We can possibly, within a couple of years, make those places malaria free. The vaccine works by triggering the immune system to produce proteins that mimic the parasites released into the bloodstream following the bite of a mosquito, a situation that will keep the immune system alert in case of a mosquito bite. This vaccine was initially developed for adults and it didn't work in adults. And then we tested it in children. We realized the children younger than six months, it was also not working very well in them. But it was only working well in this age range of six months to two years. The doses will be issued to every child at six, seven and eight months with a later dose at two years. Doses that will in no way interfere with other routine immunization doses. The vaccine, which has taken 30 years of research and development, was specifically designed to deal with Plasmodium falciparum, the malaria-causing parasite in sub-Saharan Africa. The vaccine is not a replacement for other efforts to reduce disease and infection caused by the malaria parasite, but it is clearly the largest undertaking for any disease, and specifically malaria, given that the burden is felt heavily on children and pregnant women. Raquel Moigai, Citizen TV, Nairobi.